Yeah, well, and we've, we've I've got something like twenty some hits already on the uh, uh, after uploading it to YouTube. Oh God. Well, it's oh, the entire God. game. It's the th 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 three. Three, three hours, thirty-three minutes thing. So it's not. I don't think that they're there for that monologue, because that's at the very end. Probably <laughs> not, but still. <laughs> but you delivered it so well. I don't know how how it went wrong, man. I did everything right. Yeah, and I only got one t chance previously to, to entertain Damien. <laughs> <laughs> but then I went back and played Monster Prom just so I could romance Damien at that, po that point. Ah! Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I accidentally hit the wrong button. DM kept you. Okay, noted. <laughs> anyway. No, no, no. But, I mean, it was funny. Like, you know, Tobias was the only one who managed to get it all the way through. <sighs> anyway, uh, do you guys remember what happened the last session? Uh, we moved to a new town while we were trying to go and bury someone. I don't think we helped. Uh, we went to church with the graveyard and there was a vampire boy locked up. We decided not to kill him and just leave him in the basement. Uh, and then we went for drinks. Yeah. Did I miss anything? Uh, then you guys went and found the the old seer woman who gave you some predictions. Uh, one of you found an inter got, was given an interesting note. Uh, then you arrived at a at a new uh, town uh, called Valaki and um, discovered a new inn. And I believe at least one of you was going off to a store. Wasn't that right? Or did you guys already finish that? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think we finished that, and then somebody picked up that um, a woman's son or something was like arrested because he spoke ill of the uh, the festival or something, and she was yeah. begging us to go um, talk to the burgermeister. Is that how you say it? Burgermeister, yeah. And I, b I believe another one of you also received a, a bit of a quest, but might not have told the rest of the party that. Oh, whoops, I forgot to update something. Anyway, uh, so what would you guys like to do now? You've been gathered together again at the bar. Hmm. What time of day is it? <clears throat> uh, it's probably evening by now. Ah, yes, we were planning to do our our big sleep, uh, so that we can trade over the uh, the tools between me and Wave, mm -hmm. and then yeah, and then we can just have a rest, I guess. Unless we already did that. Looks like you guys are just <clears throat> gathered together at the bar. You haven't gotten a chance to do that yet. I guess Kale is going to pay for a room. Oh, yeah, you know what? We already did make the tools. I have them in my inventory here. Yeah, that's probably because you did that last time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm... I don't think we actually like long rested though. I think. We... Well, the, the, you guys long rested before the burial, is what you guys did. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's we right. Because while you were at the church, we okay. The, we got the tools like when we got to this town, and we haven't long rested since. since okay. Before we got to this town. Okay. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. I'm starting. I'm starting to get it back. It's it's been a while. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So people don't like it when they when someone speaks out against the burgermeister or his festivals for that matter. Oh. Is a dog in here? <laughs> it's my dog, sorry. She's being a a little bitch. 
It's Every time somebody walks by in the hallway, she barks. Yes, apparently the Burgermeister doesn't like to be spoken ill of. Is our intention to stay for the festival? Is that what we're doing here? To make sure it's safe for, um... What is her name? Irina, perhaps? Irina. Yes. Uh, Irina. Is that I'm what not... we're doing? Yeah, yeah, we're scouting the place now. Yeah, we're scouting it out, but I, it doesn't feel safe enough for me. This town seems odd. Well, I know it's not safe. The, the bones of whatever saint that was at the priest was using to protect the town uh, are, were stolen. Oh. To be fair, this whole world seems strange to me, but... I mean, in theory, if she just doesn't speak out against the festivals or whatever, she should be fine. But this bones thing is actually concerning. Well, well the, the priest told Kale that, that uh, he couldn't protect the people anymore, that the bones are keeping Stroud away, and apparently they're gone. And he gave he gave me an address where the assistant that stole them lives, or something. Um, do you know where that is? No. <laughs> <laughs> you think I've been here before? Fair enough. Well, we can just ask for directions. What What's the the assistant's name? I don't have my notes, so I don't remember. Uh, on my other computer. Let's see here. Sorry. Flipping to the page. Um, so. Let's see. Uh, you were probably told about. Um, Mil. Iv. Milly Vuj. I have a hard time pronouncing that. M I L I V O J. It's probably something like Milvoy. Milvoy. Okay, I'll pronounce it. I'll, I'll try to remember to pronounce like, it like that. Uh, it depends on, like, because J's are usually like. That sounds reasonable to me. So I'm going to have to pronounce it that way. <clears throat> and you were given directions to where Milvoy lives. Like we should go find this person and get the bones back. I mean, that sounds reasonable to me. Is this going to be a conversation? Or are we... I mean, it's it's late. Do we want to go bother this guy? Like, this mm. late? I mean, if he's a thief, it doesn't really matter, does it? You can kick in his door and give him the old one-two. Well, maybe not that yet. Not yet. Yeah, perhaps Bones, he might be the better option than beating him up. I mean, I'm all I'm all good with being good cop. I'm okay with being handed that role. I just, you know, sometimes I like to be bad cop. It's okay. Does this mean good cop, bad cop? <clears throat> what? What do you mean by that? I don't, I don't know what's a cop? Oh, sorry, sorry. Good guard, bad guard. My bad. No. <laughs> I misspoke. <laughs> I think maybe Kill has a point. We can try again in the morning. And if we need to use force, then I'm sure there's more of us than there are them, so we're exactly. fine. Yeah, exactly. We outnumber them, so intimidation is uh, not going to be hard. Anyway, uh, I guess we should go to sleep then and uh, get to work in the morning. Sounds like a plan to me. All right. I think it kills going to uh, get a room of his own. As long as it doesn't cost too much, I don't know. Like I know you said five silver per bed. I don't know. Like if single rooms are more expensive. 
Uh, Sarah, when you climb up the stairs, you discover that your guest the room that you paid for is not on this floor. Uh, uh, it doesn't have any way of getting over there. It's actually on this side of the building. Oh. The stairs are on the other side. Yeah, it's c kind of weird. The stairs are outside, and you have to go up to get in there. So, let's see. If Kale paid for his own room, he's probably, like, there. Uh, what about the rest of you? Own room or joint room? Oh, right. uh, there's only there's only two potential two rooms that only have two beds, and there's another room that has four beds. Yeah, I would have paid for a room. Should paid for a room for her and Arena. Yeah, I think I already did joint room with Layla, I believe. Yeah, because I was broke at the time. Yeah. Okay, so so Layla, Wa Layla, Wave, and Sarah are all in this bottom room down here. Oh. Wait, finished. Alright. That works out fine. Hmm. And you guys uh, get some sleep. And you said in the morning you were planning on going to visit this person? <clears throat> sure. I really like how, how Rule 20 fixed the stupid thing they've had with the maps for so long. Now yeah, it's so the... much easier to move things around. Yeah. Alright. So, you guys are here at the moment. Right here in the middle of things. Uh, the... Yeah, there's different shops in different places. Oh, this is Burgermaster's Mansion. So yeah, there's a town square nearby, which is um, market area with a lot of the market areas. There's also like you know points to the to down here, which has the um, the toy store and let's see, what's the other one? Can't over here, stupid pages. Uh, over here is the town square, actually. This is where you guys were at. Um, before, the toy store is over here. And over here is the coffee maker's place. And over here is that um, yard where you, is that other yard where you spotted a um, that one gar garishly painted carriage, I believe. You saw it through the... Through the through the uh, into the yard, and over <clears throat> here is the church. Just for points of reference. But are you all going to uh, go to confront uh, Milo? M Milo? Mil all right, Milloy. I'm Milo. Milo. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I five seconds later, I already forget how I was pronouncing it. <sighs> Are you are you all I mean, going or only some of you? Kale has nothing better to do. Yeah, I'll yeah. Sure, well. I have nothing, I have nothing better to do either. Did we all want to knock on the door, or did some of us want to kind of sneak around? I'm not good at sneaking. I'll be knocking. I mean, I'll bet be at the front door. I'll probably not be the person talking. Also, are we gonna? Beat up the Burgermaster? I know this is someone else. Well, that's right. We got it. We need to see the Burgermaster at some point as well. I mean, I'd say we do this together because if this does end up turning violent, maybe having backup would be useful. Let's just go in together. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
so the group of you make it to a uh, small cottage in the wee hours of the morning. Um, you can pretty much tell that it is day because there's a bit of sun peeking through the uh, the, gl- the otherwise gloom that this place is uh, known for. Uh, and you can see smoke rising from from the place. Like, you know, uh, this morning, you know, the uh, smoke from cooking fires sort of thing coming from the chimney. What would you like to do? Alright. Um, we should determine who's taking lead on this. Hmm. Can you bludgeon her for me? Poor Bree. Um, I think... Well, I don't know. Last time I went charge and something, you guys got mad, so... I mean, I can try, but I'm not that good. I'm also, yeah, I'm not very good at talking to people. Like, I'm more of, like, a monster person, as I've pretty much made certainly clear. But, you know, when it comes to, like, people, it's just kind of, like, it's kind of a hit or miss. Yeah. That you never miss, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, Wave takes a gun and shoots himself. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, I haven't made a gun yet. Uh, I mean, I'm not particularly good with people, you know, living in the forest and all. It... Is anyone good at it? Uh, <laughs> Kale just, okay, just a show of... and walks up to the door. Oop. And knocks. In short succession, the door opens, and a a small girl in a uh, pink dress with a with a f- mostly faded pink bow in, in in her hair looks up at you. Who are you? Kel like just rolls his eyes and crouches down, and he he, he would say, uh. <laughs> he like, he kind of has to think about it for a second because I don't know if he deals with children very often. Uh, he's like, "Hello, little girl. We're looking for a man named Milvoy, the priest from the church sent us." What What do you want with him? She's holding a a, a little doll with a, too big of a head and with, like one eye and like no hair on it, and you know kind of tattered overalls for clothes, like, clutched in one arm. He took something that wasn't his, and we need to take it back to the priest. Well, persuasion. See if it actually rolls, like... Oh, it did. Yay, I think. She sticks a finger in in her mouth for a second, and then looks behind her and yells... Millie! Millie! And, like, you hear some um, pots banging, clinging inside, and and a uh, tired-looking, brawny young man. uh, It's hard to tell if he's, like, you know, a teenager or, you know, young 20s, maybe, at at most. Just comes looking at, at, at the door. He's, like, got... What looks to be like an apron on, uh, and it's like just peering out at you. Who are you guys? And he kind of like shushes the girl behind him. Uh, the priest from the church sent us over. He says you borrowed something that doesn't belong to you. My father said that. He's got this, a very tired look. Who are Please you? It's the bones of some saint. Does it matter? Yes, it matters. Ugh, how would he answer? Uh, he... He'd just say, my name's from, my name is Kale, I'm not from around here, I'm an, uh, 
uh, from outside of Barovia. Is that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're <sighs> an outsider. He's gonna say she said, "You have no idea what's going on around here." I'd say, keep keep to yourself and mind your own business. And he goes to attempt to close the door on you. Uh, well, that oh went boy. Well. Uh, Why do you keep switching? Okay. Um, I think Sarah's going to try and put her foot in the door. Okay. And what is Sarah going to do after she gets her foot in the door? Um, excuse me, but I actually have something very important to do here. He grimaces and looks out at you. Do, uh... You see, I and my compatriots here are actually... On your side? Real persuasion. She's like... Like she, she's like her face is like contorting. She's like struggling with this. Is Layla uh, just face palming behind behind you? I'm gonna hold off. Yeah, no, I'm face palming. <laughs> he, he lets out a, a long sigh and goes to attempt to push your foot out of the way of the door. I'm barreling in. <laughs> Roll a strength check. Oh great, my greatest attribute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you slam yourself into the door. Let's see what he gets. Alright. Ah, hold on a second. Let's see if he has an actual sheet. Ah, he does. Oh, and I even have a handout for him. Hold on. I'm trying to find my... Oops, bio and info. Handout... Yeah, that's what the guy looks like. And he will attempt to strength back. And he put, manages to keep the door from you from barreling in and just kind of pushes you back and closes the door. Hmm. Well, that went excitingly well. Should we try to do something more? Well, I'm thinking option one was talk to him. And option two is punch him. And she does kind of like a fist in, in her hand motion. I mean, we don't really even know if he actually has the bones. We just know he's kind of a dick. Yes, but that was send, very suspicious. Uh, can I send Squeak down the chimney? Sure. Um, how many hit points does Squeak have? Oh, no. Probably not enough to survive burning. <laughs> Because the chimney is currently <laughs> active. There's an active fire in there. There's lots of cooking is there, going is there on. Anywhere that looks like a place where Squeak could squ squeak in. Have some little squeaky, squeaky again. Squeak a a rat mouse. Uh, I'm forgetting. No, squeak squeaks the pseudo dragon. Oh, that's right. squeaks the pseudo dragon. Bodhi pseudo dragon. That's right. That's what I thought. I was like thinking, wait, squeaks a good name for like a rat or a mouse. Yeah. So pseudo dragon, but a bony one. Roll perception. Uh, roll investigation check actually. I mean, yeah, I think pseudo dragons have like seven hit points, so that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, he's got seven, but that's probably not enough for burning. Burning is a pretty, pretty. Uh, well, considering it, bony. consider he is bony and stuff, he probably could make it through, through, through the heat of the fire thing. It's probably only like one or two hit points. Yeah, yeah I'm not you, sure you how look around, you don't see any other way of going in there. Yeah, I'm not sure how Grizz rules it, but like standing in like a fireplace is like one fire damage per like yeah. round or something. Oh, okay, because like I thought. Well, then I, well, I was just I, I was just thinking like certain things only certain familiars only have like one hit point, occasionally two, and like you know if that's seven hit points, that's actually pretty good. And so I guess I'm gonna send him stealthily down the chimney. All right, roll stealth check for him. Uh, I can put up the chimney if you want. Ooh. That's why T-Flames can just straight up stand and fire. Mm-hmm. Yep. The little city dragon goes in there without a problem. 
and isn't even seen. Now, are you going to see through this thing's eyes, or are you just going to... Uh... Sure, I'm going to look through Squeak's eyes. Okay. Are you going to relay this all to your, the rest of the party? I'm sure. All right. So, you've, um, you know, probably put your hand out on somebody's shoulders because you can't see anything that's actually, see or hear anything that's around you as you're borrowing Squeak's Wait a second, sight. I have to touch somebody? Well, not necessarily, but it's a good idea to, uh, I, I'm used to, the, the, you, you just stand put with your eyes suddenly all milky as far as anyone else is concerned. And uh, you, you're just uh, relaying what Squeak sees. He goes down the chimney, he sees like, you know, a, 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 a boiling cauldron, a small boiling cauldron of um, uh, of what looks to be like some sort of gruel or oatmeal or something, uh, and a few meager strips of some kind of meat that seems to be cooking on the fire. And he sees uh, M- Milo- Milovich, and um, he sees four children. Uh, that little girl that answered the door, uh, another even younger boy, uh, and two ki- and two other children who look like they might be in- the beginnings of teenagers. Like you know, they seem to be helping out with the meal. Uh, but the the two youngest children seem to be sitting at a table and are you know, playing with little strange toys. Like, the little girl has that weird doll, doll with a big head and, you know, no hair. And the little boy ha- has something that looks like it has fangs glued onto it. And they're just kind of, like, sitting there playing quietly. As the uh, as the one named Millie is uh, going back to the fire, <clears throat> the fireplace and is stoking the fire and stirring the pot and, like, testing it and kind of nodding his head and starting to fill up bowls and calling the other the kids over to to, ha- to to get some breakfast in them. That's pretty much what you're seeing. You're seeing a domestic scene. But no scene, uh, no sign of any um, other adults in the house. It's pretty much uh, mainly that main Is room like- and a, you know, a bedroom off to the side with a big enough bed to fit, you know, a group. So it's like a single story house, no, no upstairs. Yeah, no... single sing, single story house. You know, very very meager. It looks like everybody is like you know living in in poverty sort of stuff. Like a small chest, hmm. a small chest of you know a small chest in the in the room that's half open that seems to have just like clothes in it. It's it's in the bedroom. Debating, uh, can Squeak snoop around? I don't know. I mean, sure. Full have... investigation for Squeaks. Uh, God, Squeak. That's an int. I guess int. Yeah. yeah you sneak around. You look through, through, through the clothes. Don't find anything interesting. Squeak around some more. And now we'll, all, all four children are sitting around the table eating uh, while uh, Millie looks exhausted and is like just chewing on a, a, ch- a chunk of, uh, of cooked meat. I he's mean, watching does over Squeak them. smell any, like, he, it says he has uh, advantage on perception checks to rely on heat, sight, hearing, or smell. Sure. Does you, he smell you can roll anything per- that you, smells like bones or something? You can roll a perception like, check as well. for bones, right? Yep. Roll a perception check for him as well. You look around, you sniff, Advantage. you smell food, uh, but you don't smell anything bony. Like, the, the, the closest it comes to it is, is like, there's a, a small hunk of cured meat in a very meager, um, on a mer- very meager shelf at the one end of the kitchen, dining room, living room, sort of, you know, the, the main area of the, of the, co- of, of the, of the, you know, the shack, basically. Uh, and it's like, you know, a cured piece of, like, it's probably ham on a bone. That's about it for bones. Kale just kind of shrugs. He's like, they're rolling around in the dirt in there. It's like, I don't see anything. Maybe the priest was wrong. These bones are some sort of holy artifact. I forget who or what saint they were, and it's in my notes. They were the bones of some saint, and the priest was using them to keep either the church or the city safe. I think it was the church. Saint in Drowls. Uh, 
Oh, that's not going to help. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would have to go inside the tray for Isaac's grave. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if the bones aren't here, did we want to head back to the church and ask the priest if he had any other leads? Well, how, how far did they, did your familiar look? Did he, did he look in every drawer, every box, every cupboard? I mean, I would think you'd be able to smell them, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Sarah's going to try the door. I assume it's locked. Um, hmm, that's a good question. Uh, actually, it isn't locked. But it had something leaning against it. Ah. Uh, like it still has something leaning against it? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Like, there's a person leaning against it? No, no, no. There's like, you know, a, a piece of furniture that was dragged in front of it. Probably like, you know, typical nighttime precautions in a place where, like, you know, it's not easy to get a door, key, you know, a door locked. Such a place. Sarah's, Sarah's going to knock on the door very loudly and go, if you don't open the door, I'm going to blow it open. Roll persuasion. Let's see. <laughs> Aha. God. No response. All right, ready or not, then. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm going to act. I'm going to. Uh, ah, well, I'm going to look back to my teammates and go. All right, is it okay if I like blow blow open his door, <laughs> like just blow it up? Seems seems like it's the violent. Like the authorities might come and arrest you. I don't know. I mean, would they? I, I mean. It's just weird blowing down a door with, what are there, four kids you said, Kale? Something like that. Maybe we don't do that. Can't we just, like, if we look around, are there any windows? Uh, sure. Roll investigation. Sure. Bray, shut up. You, you, you walk around the cottage, and you find two. One... That appears to be in the bedroom side of the building, and the other one closer to the kitchen area of uh, of the main room. Right, I'll make my way back. There's two windows. We could head through there, maybe. I mean, it's not like we're going to be able to sneak around in here. There's five of them. Yeah. Um. Well, we could try the windows and see if they're locked, I suppose. All right, I'll get the one by the bedroom. You get the other. Okay. Yep. Um, can I try the window and see if it's unlocked? Uh, it doesn't appear to be locked, but it's like one of those uh, tilt out cranks. Uh, you know, the, the tilt out kind. In the ones that are pretty much impossible to really open. Fit through for... the con conning or... windows. What? You can squeak open it. Can Squeak push it from the inside? Uh, sure. Right. Uh, do you need to kind of check for that? Uh, no, I think the, the, the dragon would be heavy enough to, like, you know, push on that particular window. And it is very small. It's like one of those type of windows that a cat could get through, but probably not a person. Actually, a child could probably, you know, in an emergency fit through that, but... Okay, so it's on sicking squeak on the kids and maybe they'll scream and run out of the house. <laughs> it's better than blowing up the door? <laughs> we could blow up the window. We don't have to blow up the house. I mean... Uh, actually, keep saying that until, we, until you run out of options. And then I'm over here uh, waiting. And you know what? Uh... If yeah. You know what? I have an idea. It might be a bit weird, but stick with me. So you said there was something like on the door preventing it from opening, right? Right. Like 
if there's a chair behind the door or could you be more do you have more of anything well couldn't squeak move that that's what i'm wondering squeak could be able to see that it is definitely a chair that's been pushed up in front of the door Squeak is about as strong as Kale, so uh, not very. Uh, okay. I have a idea. Uh, you know, step away from the door a bit. I need a bit of space. Um, Wave, you're not going to blow it up, right? I'm not going to blow it up. Okay. All right, well, boy, boy, if just between you and me, we, you are going to blow it up? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use something way better than explosives. Oh god. I I mean that doesn't exist, but continue. <laughs> the power of liquids. And I cast know. create water. Okay. At at second level, so I create a lot of water. Then Where I are you, where where are you where are you creating this water? In front of the door. Okay, so you're getting your feet wet. It's a lot of water. It's like how many cubic feet? Uh, I need to add this to my spell list. So I mean, you're soaking the door, but you're. It's it also be able wait, to. Wait, like... wait, 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 wait. There is more to this. I just need to figure out how much water I made. Uh. 10 gallons, so it's... I made 20 gallons. How much is 20 gallons? And... As I was saying, you um, managed to soak the door in water, but it also flashes back onto you and anyone else is standing nearby, which probably includes Kale, because he's busy looking through uh, looking through Squeaks' eyes. Oh, I thought this would be way more water. Okay. After I created water, I use shape water to break, to go with the water underneath the door, because there should be enough space for water to get underneath yep. the door, right? And then I'm gonna give the water a position, like trying to get it after. Like I'm gonna ask whoever is seeing through the dragon's eye. Uh, to help me position the water in the right position. The thing is, is that the dragon, it, the person with, with the dragon, seeing the dragon's eyes, can't actually hear you. The, Squeaks can possibly hear you, though, because it is a small space. No, but I if can. you're loud enough for Squeaks to hear, the people inside the building can also hear you. Mm, you know what? I'm just going to guess. So I'm going to create a sheet of ice on the bottom. Like, basically, I'm going to create, like, a little... Uh, what's a good word for this? A stick of ice. Okay. Uh, right behind the door. And then I'm going to shove, keep shoving the stick downwards until it uh, hits the chair and, like, hits it from underneath to knock it out. Under, uh, like, no, knock it loose, basically. Okay. So you push the... You basically use the, your ice and water to push the door over... And from the inside, you start hearing children screaming. A bit of water. How high is their perception? <laughs> it's not the water. It's the chair suddenly moving and tipping over. And it's a very small room. And do, talking about a cottage, tiny cottage with like two rooms. One being the room that you're currently going into, which they're in, and the other being the bedroom. Yeah. Sarah starts know. yelling, you chose this option! You chose this! I, you, 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 you still see hearing two small children screaming in terror, and two older children yelling and rushing around. Uh, Kale, from your position, you're seeing the two small children uh, clutching onto each other and like backing up. Uh, the two somewhat older children grabbing up pots and pans, ready to defend themselves. And the older brother who's been taking care of all of them, grabbing a shovel and getting ready, to, get, getting ready to attack intruders. Look very worried slash uh, slightly shy as I go to the. Uh, roll dexterity saving throw. Oh god. All right. One second. Ah. Uh, 
Alright, so you manage to dodge out of the way as a pot comes sailing at your head. Greetings, friends. Listen, Milfoy, we tried to talk to you at first, okay? This was how the medium option. How dare you? Get, get, get out of our house! That's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, just start fessing up to what you did, and then we will leave. In roll fact, in, I'll even fix your door. Roll intimidation. Worse and broken. <laughs> Alright, who's rolling intimidation? You are. Oh, great. <laughs> That's better. The man kind of like you know looks at the, looks at his siblings and like looks at the two old the, the two somewhat older children and tells them keep the, keep the younger an eye on your younger ones and do anything you you need to if they still attempt to come in and uh, he you know slips a, a butcher knife into the hands of the of the older girl uh, and starts moving over towards the door. Hey, all right, whoa, 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 whoa. okay, let's not let's not get violent. If you if we get violent, it's going to be bad for you, and that's bad. If you come into my home and threaten my siblings, I'm threatening you. I don't care about your siblings. You were invading our home, and that is threatening my siblings. You will screw you. <laughs> it, listen, Pal. we don't want anything to do with your siblings. Do you genuinely think fighting us is going to be the solution after this? Look around. Do you think you're going to win? Genuinely. Let's not get violent. There's no reason. We just need to know what you did with the bones. That's it. And we'll be gone. You won't ever have to see us again. I sold them to Henrik so that my brothers and sisters could eat. They were starving. That wasn't Henrik. very hard, huh? All you do was tell us. What? Just tell us. Here, have some money. Do you give him gold. money? I give him 50 silver pieces because I only have one gold piece at left after us buying. I mean, it's technically five gold pieces. So, 50 silver. I'll, I'll donate a gold. He seems to relax as, as he takes the money into his hands. I would give you 50, 50 silver, but uh, the other 50 is probably for, like, you know, the door, so... You know, just think of so, fifty of it as so, like donation. So totally, he's you're giving him six gold. The, the party is giving him six gold altogether. Look, we're we're really just here for some information. We we don't want to hurt you. We're just kind of on a hurry to get out of here. And the more if you want to we... find the bones, go talk to Henrik. He's the um the coffin maker. I don't know why he wanted them. But he was willing to pay pay me enough to feed my my family for a while. Henrik, okay. Kayla is gonna recall Squeak, just because. Uh, well, I'm sorry for scaring you and your and your siblings. Well, I think I'm sorry for doing that. I don't know how <laughs> Wave feels about it. <laughs> you wanted to blow up the door. I just slightly pushed the chair. Yeah, I and I you horrified them by like slowly pushing it open with like making them think they're at under attack by some kind of water monster blowing up is simple and easy we'll, we'll finish this discussion later let's just get the info and go to this guy <laughs> oh god <laughs> So, just so letting you know. The two quote unquote adults in the party are face bombing, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> like, as we're leaving, Sarah's still going on. Like, a flood's so much harder to fix than like an explosion, you know? Yeah. Just... <laughs> I, I, start, I start taking all my water back with shape water and I shove it in. Oh, that, that reminds me, Kale, you're, you're, you're wet. Kale just like looks down and he's like, why am I wet? Look at them and I'm like, I'll fix it and I use I use my water magic to get the water out of everyone's clothes. And then I put it neatly in a bag. Uh, well, like, considering how many gallons that is, it would take more than one bag to fill that up. Um, you know what, I'm Maybe a bag of folding, but 
you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll make a big ass ball and then I turned it into ice and I'll carry it around for the rest of the day. Because <laughs> oh, I can just keep it frozen. I don't even think that you can carry that much water at one time. <laughs> 10 gallons? What is that like? You said 20 gallons. 20. Just freeze it into a cube and leave it somewhere. Anyway. It's not that much. Oh no, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. Put it in the well later. <laughs> All right, so Henrik the Coffin Maker. No one's been here before. Should we go back and ask him where that is? Or you passed it on? Can... You guys actually, those of you who went to the square yesterday, did see the uh, coffin maker shop in the distance. Oh, word. Okay, cool. Um, are we good to go? I mean, uh, yeah, I think. We should definitely employ a different strategy than last time. Maybe we should lie. Lie? Yes, Why? we should lie about our reasons for coming to the coffin shop. Are we ask him that we're looking for a coffin. You yes. Know, yes, we're coffin. We're getting ourselves shaped for coffins. That's what we're doing. <laughs> okay. So we're getting ourselves shaped for coffins. How are we looking for the saint's bones? Can we use Squeak to do that? We'll bring it up in casual conversations. Like, hey, uh, while well, we're fitting the co coffins, like, have you seen any weird spoons? I keep hearing rumors about them. Like, oh, yes. Because when I... <laughs> When I'm just getting measured for a coffin, I just like to talk about the crimes my, <laughs> the coffin maker commits. Look, I'm not the social man. You guys figure it out. Oh yeah, by the way, just what crimes have you been committing lately? Just just out of curiosity. <laughs> Do we um, think the coffin maker lives in the coffin making shop? I mean... Because we could come back at night if he doesn't. That's true. Really, we just need to get inside of the coffin maker shop, and then we can let the rest play out from there. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I mean, it'll work if, out. If we can get inside, Squeak might be able to sniff sniff out bones. That'd be nice. Just, just look for something that smells like yourself, Squeak. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So it is a, a good time of the morning, like, you know, when most people are having breakfast or just starting to go to work, but in a few shops here and there are starting to open up. What is your plan? Go coffin shopping? Yeah, let's go get fitted for coffins. All right. The uninviting shop is two stories tall and has a sign shaped like a coffin above the front door. All the window shutters are closed up tight and a deathly science silence surrounds the establishment. Every window you see as you look, look up there is a latticework of iron fitted with squares of frosted glass that appear to be locked. The doors themselves to the front door also will not look at inviting at all. They are closed. I mean, is there a chimney? Uh, roll investigation. Uh. Guys, I think we have to change our lie. <laughs> what would you this? recommend? I came up with the last one. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Well, how about the squeak see a chimney? Because I'm sending him up there. Yeah, <laughs> squeaks, look, squeaks looks around and doesn't see a, a chimney at all. 
You see little bone little bone pseudo dragon shrugging its little bony shoulders. Does he see any other like means of getting in? Or is it Nope. <laughs> Kale just shrugs. He's like, I'm out of ideas. Hmm. I look at my 20 liter bowl of fruit water. It's not liters, it's gallons. Gallons, 10 gallons of water. 20 gallons of water. Uh, 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 um. Sarah's gonna knock on the door. After a moment, you heard a voice yelling, We're closed! Go away! Uh, it's the Burgermeister's people. What? <laughs> it's terrible. Did you not hear me? Go away! Leave me alone! Official Burgermeister business? Oh my god. No deception! <laughs> 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 yeah, that goes along right with what, how you said it, too. That's uh, perfect. No, thank you! Okay. Sarah, you can pick locks, right? Uh, yes, I can. Why don't we just open it and say, uh, we're the lock? Oh, and hell yeah, free real estate. Uh, and she, <laughs> and she, uh, she tries to pick the lock. Mm. Meantime, I'm making tiny ice sculptures with my tiny. <laughs> you, you, you push your thieves toes into the kit, and you hear a quack, and realize that you've accidentally broken your pick. Great. Wave? Can I borrow yours? Or you can. No, no, you know what? Wave? Actually, you can do this. I, I believe in you. <laughs> very, very skilled toes. Uh, let me just. Dexterity, right? Yep. Damn. While he's doing that, I'm gonna mend uh, the ones, the ones that I just broke. <laughs> Good use of mending. Yeah, meanwhile, as, you, as you're mending up the broken pick, you hear click, click, and wave has gotten you guys in. How do I feel about this, guys? This is very breaking and entering. Yes, but we are the law. Remember, that's the lie. Sure. That's what you called out, Sarah. Yeah, impersonating an officer might be bad, though. So is stealing bones, I think? Yeah. I don't know. Which one's worse? I don't actually... Well, technically, he did not steal them. He bought them. Yeah, he hired someone to steal them. That's he not bought stealing. stolen property. That's yeah. entrepreneurship. Uh, as you push up on the door, you see a, a nervous old... old older man uh, just kind of wringing his hands as he sees you, as he sees you that guy and he's kind of grimaces what 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 do you want i said i, I said we're closed you said that but you don't mean it you want to give us the bones that you've thought book him uh, layla uh, bone uh, bones what, the, what what are you talking about the saints bones Uh, well, uh, rule a persuasion check. Oh boy. Good at those. Watch out. Oh no, I can't see. I have to put your tokens on the map, that's why. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Look, look, I I don't have any of these bones. I I don't know what you're talking about. If I improperly buried someone that, well, I don't think it could be anyone you know. I don't I don't know what you are. I've never seen anyone like you before. Uh, but <clears throat> I suggest you get out of here and and, and we'll forget about this. Uh, I won't call the guards on you. Inside. Oh. <laughs> Your stones and bones, I need to know. I'm a priestess of choir. 
of uh, of who? Bar. He seems very nervous about something. Not simply about the bones, but something else too. <sighs> Is that is that like palpable, like it's obvious? Yeah. Or yeah. is it an insight thing? It's an insight thing. It's very obvious. Ah. Okay. Uh, so we've got a sixteen in insight, so. Kind of stupid, so I have to see if he figures it out. Nope. <laughs> Listen, maybe you should stop threatening calling the guards on us and worry about calling the guards on you for stealing a saint's bones. That's kind of fucked up, man. <laughs> He, he kind of like looks and you know his eyes dart this way and that and then he kind of lunges forward oh, i'm gonna move you over here uh lunges forward and grabs tries to grab hold of your cloak and just kind of goes please please the, 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 they made me do it who made you do it the, the vampires where the he kind of uh, he, he kind of looks up at, at, as he says that. Where are the bones? And he's still kind of looking upward. Uh, hmm. Right, and when we go upstairs and look for the vampires, you're not going to run, right? Because you're coming with us to go check on oh, them. I, I'm not. I'm not going up there. No, 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 no. I, I'm not going up there. It's so weird that you thought you had a choice. That was so weird of you. It so was so wild. Bad. It was crazy. Are you guys just gonna pick him up? Yeah, he's not. I'm not uh, and uh, he's definitely telling the truth. The, va the 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 bones are upstairs, and apparently so are vampires. All right, the game is afoot. Let's go. The hunt is on. Let's slow it with the hunt. Well, How I mean. It depends on how many vampires, yes, gonna be honest. Sir, how many vampires are upstairs? Uh, roll persuasion. Not great. I, uh, I, I don't know exactly that they're in crates upstairs. Uh, is it right if I help Layla with this? Go Let's for it. it. Roll persuasion. Oh, me roll of persuasion? Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, same thing. <laughs> hmm. Both have the same charisma. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, um, Kale would move in and be like, I think in your best uh, interest. Kale, you tell us. you're a complete robot right, right now. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Any better? Yep. Continue definitely better. Right. Uh, uh, he would just say, uh, he would move in and be like, it's in your best interest. If you tell us, I guess. Roll persuasion okay. or intimidation. Yeah, uh, he's gonna, he's not very intimidating. Nope. <laughs> it's even less persuasive. Nope. At least less persuasive right now, since he actually has a pretty good bonus to persuasion. Mm -hmm. All right. Are the doors to head upstairs locked? No. Okay. We going to do this? Yep. Uh, Sarah's going to open this door. Uh, if I'm we're worried about this guy running right. away, I can have Squeak sting him. You find yourself looking into a room with haphazardly arranged coffins. Thirteen of them altogether. Nothing inside, though. Just some more doors. Yeah, but no. Okay. Hmm. Seem to be the right size for me. I guess that makes sense. This is a coffin store. Still don't like it. Oh, yes. It's very morbid. Okay. This hmm. is a door up here, uh, or am I? No. Yeah, I think that I, I think that is another door. Out. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 
All right. Should we try this one? Sure. Sure. Yeah, let's try this one. And you're wishly rewarded with stairs going up. Uh. Who's first? Uh, just just so I have this out there, uh, I do have my Eldritch Cannon deployed. I remember deploying it last session. It's a lot of stuff, but like, basically, it's a in the form right now of a uh, of like a tiny mechanical spider that's on my arm currently. Okay. Um, at this point, I'm gonna pull out my bow. And kind of cautiously walk my way up the stairs. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Mm. Uh, for, if you want to go in first, please drink this, and I hand you a potion. Uh, I'm gonna trust you, and I'll chug the potion. <laughs> uh, it's a potion of resilience, because I rolled for it earlier when the day started. Uh, it gives you plus one AC for uh, 10 minutes. Oh, nice. Dope. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Wave. I was planning on drinking it myself before I went in, but I will. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm quickly also going to use spell slots to make a potion of healing for myself. Um, I'm going to... Uh... Uh, I'm going to activate my cannon, um, and it's going to do the Eldritch Protector, which gives uh, everyone, every each creature within a ten feet, uh, some temporary hit points. And I'm going to roll them now. Only one more in range. Yep, everyone in within range. So every uh, everyone gets nine temp HP. Uh, as my little spider does a little dance, uh, glows yellow, and a bunch of golden dust spits out of it. <laughs> nice. Very cute. Needs a top hat, though. Does need a top hat. And a cane. Fit one for it. <laughs> <laughs> Another character familiar ended up have ended up with a spider with a top hat and a, and a cane. Maybe when I get higher level. And it gets stronger. It I'll, I'll, have, I'll give it. <laughs> he used to be a scary spider, and then he traded to patrons because he was a warlock, and it became a very funny spider. Oh, uh, sorry, I was waiting for you guys to line up there because I was just gonna move you in a line based on oh, that. Sorry. I'm always last. <laughs> All right, squishy boy. All right. There's a door in front of me. Yes, th there are two doors, left and right. Do I hear movement on either side? Uh, roll perception check. Sure. I will do so as well. You're not picking up anything, even with like with a good twenty perception check. It's absolutely silent on both sides. That doesn't bode well, but. Nope. All right, I'm going to point to this one down here. All right. And I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to push it open. All right. You find yourself in a small kitchen. It contains a square table and surrounded by chairs and has shelves of provisions and a... Yeah, and that's about it. It doesn't look like it has any kind of stove or any way of actually cooking anything. Just... You know, basically, uh, cold cut sort of stuff, and like hard cheeses and you know crackers and bits of stale bread, that sort of thing. Huh, he does live here. <laughs> um, if we look on the floor, do we see like any sets of footprints, like multiple sets? No investigation. Sure. No, you can't make out anything that looks like a footprint down there. Do you want to try this door up here, or do we want to try that one on the right? <coughs> um, this seems like it's his quarters. 
Uh, yeah, sure, we can try this one. I'll try to open it. All right. If you had vampires in your house, where would you keep them? <laughs> Not this, in your bed. This modest bedchamber holds a cot and several well-made pieces of furniture, including a table, a padded chair, a bookshelf, and a wardrobe. The bones could be hidden up here somewhere, I suppose. I'll make my way over to the wardrobe. All right. If I peek through, do I see any bones laying around? Roll a perception or investigation. Mm, no, you see a couple, you know, bits of, of nicer clothing. Uh, something, you know, a bit warm. That's about it. It's, oh, and some extra shoes. I don't think it's in here, guys. I'll take a look. Maybe he, he is a, he works at a lot. Maybe he has some weird secret compartment. Sure. Can you guys still hear me? I switched to a different pair of earbuds because my other one was driving crazy. I can hear you now. Hear you. Uh, investigation or perception? Up to you. Yeah, let's go with investigation. Yeah. Uh, Kale, so, did you hear? So you, being an art, being an artistic type as well, can appreciate a fellow art, you know, artistic type because he's clearly a carpenter. He probably built all this furniture himself. And you find yourself, uh, you know, judging the sizes, judging all of this and that, and discovering the secret component, the secret compartment in the base of it. Inside, you find two sacks, a large one, which sounds like it might have bones in it, and a small one, which seems to have coins. Hello? Hmm. Sorry, I was making sure my, the sound still worked. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kale, uh, I'm not sure if you you heard, but uh, everyone gets 9, nine temp HP. Yeah, I have it on my character sheet. Okay, cool. Just making sure. So maybe I shouldn't be the one looking through things. Wave, good find. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one. I'm gonna point to the one that sounds like bones. Can we open it up and check? We probably should. Yeah. All right, you peek, you, you peek inside, and you definitely see a skull looking up at you. You have no idea if these are the actual bones of the saint or not, but you know that they are bones, and they were hidden. Well, we might as well pick these up. Yeah. I really hope these aren't someone else's. Yeah. Um... Like his loved ones just sitting in there. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I really hope this guy's just not like a murderer as well as a thief. That'd be pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that'd be bad. Um, okay. We turn around and he's strawed. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when strawed might be behind you. All right. Well, we still don't have confirmation. We got to take out these vampires, right? I feel kind of bad for him. He looks weak and old and wrinkly. <laughs> Maybe we should take care of these things if they even exist. Um, yeah, sure. I think we sh If the vampires aren't here, they're probably through the other door. Yeah. Are we ready to do this, maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. I'm gonna push open this door. Alright. This large, drafty room is strung with cobwebs and takes up most of the upper floor. 
Stacks of wooden planks lie amid several crates marked junk. Hmm. He did say they were in the crates, didn't he? He did say that. He labeled the vampires junk. <laughs> oh, sick burn. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Guys, just be on your guard. All right, I will be on my guard. Yeah, I have an arrow notched, and if anything comes jumping at me, I'm ready to shoot. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah's got her gun out, same thing. <clears throat> you guys coming? <laughs> I don't want to move until I see more people come in. <laughs> yeah, this is just like us playing fa phasmophobia. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not leaving this van until the other rest of you leave this van. You're coming with me, or I'm not going back in that house. Yeah, I get locked in the house and killed. Um. <laughs> I twice. That was extra fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got the shield. Okay. Maybe they're sleeping. Perception check. <laughs> Layla, looking around, you 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 do a quick, almost subconscious uh, count of how many crates there are labeled junk in this room. Kale does would do this does the same. And you can see that there's at least eight crates labeled junk. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of junk. Yeah, maybe I... some of them are actually junk? I pray to all the gods they are. Um, do we want to take this one at a time? Like, well, knock one over? Them? Can we just burn them or something? Oh. oh. Can we burn them? That's an idea. I mean, if they're really vampires, we should just burn the whole building down, right? Well, that's how you get rid of spiders. I mean, this is someone's <laughs> home. You think one is in? Because I have an idea. Didn't we say we we're gonna bring the guy up here, and we <laughs> and we didn't do that? Yeah, no, we <laughs> he left him up. down there. <laughs> uh, do Do we know how to kill vampires? Oh, um, they're my favorite enemy. Do I know how to kill them? Well, are I'm they good. are are they really your oh, undead your favorite enemy? Okay, roll a roll a um a, a let's see a kind survival or kind or survival check uh, at advantage or history if you want. Um, sure. Meanwhile, I'm head patting Kale for no apparent reason. All right. So, Layla, uh, you know that, you know, depending on what kind of vampires these are, if they're like, you know, if we're talking like vampire spawn, uh, then, um, you know, they, they need to be attacked with magical weapons so they don't take too much damage. Uh, silver weapons would do the trick. Uh, sunlight would do the trick, but this is not the sort of place where you think you can get sunlight into. Uh, they can't cross running water. Um, if they happen to be master level vampires, then they need to be immobilized first with a stake before being beheaded and their corpses burned. Um, so I'm imagining Wave setting up a, like a stream running down the middle of the attic. <laughs> That's very hard to do. I can probably create water on one of them, and that would trigger that effect once, because it's a lot of water flowing down on them. But I can only move so much water at a turn, so... Hmm. I can yeah. set a trap. Sarah, you... really quickly. Mm -hmm. You still have that silver short sword, right? I do. Do you mind if I take that from you for now? Sure. Appreciate it. I'm gonna turn around my spear, and I'm gonna, like... <laughs> my knife and like sharpen the end of my spear into a big ass stake. 
Hmm. I'm going to Let's see how much time we got. I guess I guess right around at the exit here. Uh, I'll will I will cast snare. Okay. Uh, I'll take a minute, minute, but that's fine because the, the, the Layla's effects won't won't wear off for a bit now. Still. Okay. Um. Yeah. And and my my uh temp, temp HP only lasts for an hour. Uh. So. Yeah. So I'm oh. setting that up. Uh, you also know Layla from hunting that uh, if the vampire bites you, uh, even if it's, if it's a spawn vampire, it probably can't turn you into a vampire, but it can kill you uh, by reducing your maximum hit points through bite. Mm. Hey, guys, remember how we had that plan to attack at a distance and run, and then we fucked up, and then two of us died? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we want to try that again, except maybe the right way? Because uh, they bite kind of nasty. Yeah, but aren't they faster than us? I, I, I heard vampires are fast. Also, what level are you guys? <laughs> uh, level three. three. Yeah, Layla, uh, in addition to this, you would be aware that a... Th th this is... I'm not sure how to put it into gaming terms, unfortunately, you know, outside of meta game knowledge. Uh, you are level three. An individual vampire is a CR5. You have no idea how many individual vampires, assuming that these are vampire spawn we're talking about, are in this room. Each Didn't one the of them is to... CR5. Didn't the man downstairs say there were two vampires? No, he didn't say how many they were. You didn't get that information out of him. No, no he said he was so scared and they were in crates, so he didn't know. How about we just light the crates on fire? Just burn the whole house down. He can build a new one. I mean, is there a window here? <laughs> they are. Th th it is, but it's got frosted glass and iron shutters. I have acid. I can probably burn those through those bars, given the time. Here's the problem I'm coming up with. Can't we eat them out the window? <laughs> oh, that's good. But... <laughs> um... If we, like, disturb one of them by, like, lighting them on fire or whatever, will the other ones hear that and wake up? Or if there are other ones? I mean, he said vampires, plural. He did say that. Are these crates, like, locked down with anything? Uh, no, they're just covered so you can't see into them. I feel like this is a very bad idea. What if we start with this one in the corner, and we take a peek, and we can do that for the others, and maybe it'll work out fine. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, that's good, because I have my trap set up right in front of this one, so... <laughs> Kale's going to step out of the door. Hiding so... in the van, are we? Uh-huh. So, so even... <laughs> oh, also, don't step here, anybody. Uh... Just it, but put that, it's like invisible. Put and <laughs> wave just wave, goes, oh. stands there. Wait, what what happens when he goes into that into that area? Uh, I'm sorry. No, I would no like so basically it's it's that trap you see and like that like lifts you up in the air. But uh, I could probably it's invisible to everyone else. But I could probably instruct Wave to step around it. I can probably guide him through it. Hey, uh, could could Squeak tell if these vampires are in here? Uh, Without Squeak sniff the crate. <coughs> yes, roll perception. All right, come on, Squeak. Do a good job. Come on, Squeak, you can do it. So, Sneak, uh, are you sending it off of one crate in particular, or all the crates? I'm gonna have him go around crate to crate. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll have him do a stealthy crate to crate. All right, roll your stealth check. Case. Okay, so. Squeak does a full circuit of, of this area. Uh, that probably takes about two minutes. So that means, Layla, you've got like five minutes left on that spell. Because you spent some time like looking through rooms and all this other stuff. Uh, he picks up the scent of graveyard dirt from six of the crates. All uh. out here. 
Can you open, can you open the crates? Just, he just we sniffed at them. One, they're all gonna wake up. Uh, uh, if does he smell it from this crate here? No, he did not. Okay. Um. She just wants to look at the jar. Nor this one over here, but all the crates up in this area, all six of the crates that are up here, it squeaks picked up the scent of graveyard dirt. Okay. In, in that case, uh, you would of course relay this information, right? Oh sure. Yeah, uh, Sarah's gonna step around a trap and open this crate. Alright. You open up, and you look inside, and you see just junk. Uh, bits of, like, brass, uh, handles, uh, bits of, like, wooden dowels, um, joints. Basically, the random sort of accumulation you'd find in a carpenter's shop. Dang, no explosives. Okay. Alright, new plan? Well, okay, hold on. So are we still going to open one of the crates to have the baddies in it? I mean, we have the bones. Can we just leave? We don't really know if these are the bones, though. And I kind of feel bad leaving that one man here with these six vampires spawn. We can take can him I on the way out. Can I bones and do like a religion check on him or anything? I think, do I have religion? I think I do. Who has the bones? Sure. Is there any way that I already can see if the bones are actually what they we sure. want? Sure. Who has the bones currently? Uh, I would, I would have uh, taken them, but I would give them to anyone who wants them because I'm creeped out. <laughs> yeah, I think Wave has the bag of holding, so Wave would probably have them. Kale doesn't necessarily want to touch them, but he'll look at them. I mean, they're gross bones. <laughs> so what do you need? He'll, he'll, he'll look at them and give his religious opinion on them. What do you want from me? What do you want me to roll? Religion. Both of you can roll uh, religion checks for me. Uh, no, I'm not really good at religion rolls. <laughs> Does your snake, your snake keeping you quiet? Yeah, good girl. Uh, yeah, you have no idea if these are the bones of a saint or just some regular person. Uh, I'll take a look at them. Yeah. Where's the following <laughs> when you need one? Where, where, where is... Where's the problem when you need one? Yeah, so the 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 very the 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 the, the cleric uh, <laughs> looks at them and really can't tell if it's the saint. But the uh, the guy the, the guy to tear hunter woman who, lives, who doesn't know anything about you know who isn't a religious person to begin with somehow knows more about religion and looks over, touches one of the bones, and goes, "Yep, that feels like a saint to me." <laughs> Yep, 100% same guaranteed. <laughs> you can make you can make it's actually really good and inform the authorities that there are six vampires in this dude's attic. They can deal yeah. with him. And I'll just leave my trap here as a funny prank. <laughs> um, <laughs> um Yeah, I hate being underprepared for a hunt like this, but it just seems like we're a little bit outmatched. We can come back later. Um yeah, we're significantly outmatched. If we have the bones, I guess you're right. We'll tell the authorities and tell him to get the fuck out of here. Yep. Uh, bones are saint bones are really good deterrents for monsters. I'd say this is they are pretty valuable. I understand why the vampires would want them. It's just my way of justifying why Sarah knows about saint bones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense to me. You guys all leaving the uh, the coffin maker shop? Yep. Yes. Yep. Alrighty then. Before those things wake up and eat us. <laughs> On our way out and just, uh, yeah, pal, leave your home. Just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the bones? Let the guy that guy go. What do you guys wish to do now? Bring them back? Take them back to the temple where they belong, yeah. And yeah. we should go meet the Burgermeister afterwards. Right. <coughs> yeah, the church is just being opened up currently by Father Lucian and one of his uh, attendants. Kind of like stops uh, one of the things he's doing as he spots Kale and just kind of looks up and it... 
Uh, you've returned already? <coughs> Kale would look at him and be like, you need to pay uh, your assistant more. No, Bree. No. Mm. So it was him? No. He, he, he stole the bones? No. He stole them to feed his little collection of children he has. Oh. Yes, his uh, brothers and sisters. I, I, I gave him the, the job after his father left town. It was the only family that those children have. Right, well, if you want to take care of him, maybe pay him a bit more, or at least offer him food. Uh, I, I will consider that, yes. Right. Perhaps more concerning is that he sold them to someone named Henrik, uh, the, the coffin maker. The, the coffin maker. Wh yeah. Why would Henrik need the bones? Well, there may or may not be six vampires lurking on the top level of the Va town. Vampire? Uh, uh, are you certain? We're we're pretty Kale pretty not. certain there are vampires up there. Oh, oh this morning will protect us. Oh, this is this, this is terrible. But but you found the bones and they're returning them. Uh, yeah. I'll gesture towards. Um, I think Wade's had them. Here we go. Ah, oh, praise be the morning lord. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I will be returning them to the resting place and resanctifying the church at once. You you should yes you should immediately tell the burglar master about the vampires. He will send guards to deal with that. Girl. By the way, uh, did any of you check the wanted to check the bag that you also got alongside that one? There was one filled with co what sounded like coins. You never looked in it. Oh, um. Yeah, I mean, one of us probably picked it up. Mm-hmm. You look inside and you see 30 silver pieces and 12 strange looking coins that you're pretty sure is Electrum. Oh. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> also known as uh, yeah, twelve electrum. Also known as six gold. Electrums are so stupid. Yeah. Hey, Yodira. Yes, you're full of purr tonight, aren't you? So you guys have successfully returned the bones. To the to the priest. So, uh, so are we doing it equally? Um, I'm okay on coin. I know I gave quite a bit to that family. Hey, Grizz, your mic. Sorry, cat is pushing. Cat is pushing herself into in, into my mic at the moment. I have no arm to push her away. She's laying across my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to move. Go sit on my lap. Don't sit on my lap like this. I can't. I can't talk to my players. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, she finally moved. Sorry, she she thought that it was a great it, that laying over my arm was the greatest thing to do. A bit for the way. Sorry, she pushed it into my face. <laughs> so are we going to go talk to this hamburger person? Sarah should be able to talk to them. He knew about hamburgers. <laughs> uh, Burgermeister? Hmm. I guess that could be a unique way of interpreting hamburger person. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I mean, I guess 
everyone else here is human, so I'm the only human. Are you recommending you take lead? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought that's what you were saying, because the last uh, time I recall, so, you said we were... Uh, how much on. was it again, exactly again? 12 electrons, so... Six gold. Six gold. Yeah. Are we splitting that? I mean, who, who wants some of the six gold? Uh, I'm kind of saving up for a beat for identify. Yeah, 30 silver, 12 electrum. So is one of you, because that's kind of a party purchase. Unless you guys want to split, which is fine. Who, who else wants some? Cause, uh, I'm uh, okay with, with forfeiting my share to you for that. I was actually yeah, thinking of the same thing. He's but... not completely broke yet, so he's okay. Okay. <sighs> Three gold to my name. So what is your plan now that you've returned the bones? Going to see the burger master, I guess. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Getting, getting, um, directions there is, is, is pretty easy. So find yourself in front of this mansion has walls of plastered stone that display many scars where the plaster has fallen away from age and neglect. Drapes cover every window, including a large op arched opening above the mansion's double entrance doors. As you approach, you do see some people carrying bundles of twigs. This appears to be for the um, Festival of the Blazing Sun. I'm gonna start poking Sarah. Uh. Okay, I guess we'll just move forward. Uh. Um. There we go. <laughs> it's okay. He's also not a human. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I brought up the fact that Sarah's a human. I don't think it matters, but um, I guess knock on the. Are we at? Are we in the front, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll knock. Knock, 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 knock. A maid answers the door. Yes. Uh, oh, who do not have um, bundles? Uh, what are you here in regards to? Oh, well, we're here to visit the Burgermeister. Do you have an appointment? Yes, I think so. I think we're here on invitation, I think. Or maybe not. I don't remember. That's kinda, out of character. Kinda, I don't like, actually remember. You up and down. What kind of clothes are you wearing right now, Sarah? Um, oh, geez. Uh, she's wearing her red cloak. Um, and she is obviously strapped with a bunch of different weird devices. So, uh, and she's also wearing goggles. She kind of like looks at you. Oh, you, you don't look like you're here for, for the lunch. And you're a little early, regardless. Yeah, but uh, I was—we were told that the burgermaster would want to see us. Well, you had to see the burgermaster. Yes, yes, you want the baroness. Uh, I thought this was maybe one of the baroness's guests, and just saying the burgermaster because 
anyway. Um, so, uh, I suppose, w tell me what this is in regards to, and I shall go ask him if you can see him. Sarah, sort of, like, leans over to Layla. What are we, what's, what, what's in this regard to again? Um, <clears throat> uh, we're here for a number of reasons. We were told by the guards to come speak to the Burgermeister uh, regarding the festival, but also we oh. have some concerning news about, um, something that's happened recently. Oh, 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 right. I, I will... Kale, Kale is just going to blurt out the vampires. <laughs> I, I don't. Mm. Y yes, I, I suppose you can, you can come in and wait in the parlor a while. I go talk to the Valerian master, and she kind of waves you guys in. All right. I'm gonna shoot Kale a look. I'm gonna walk in. Please wait while we go get some people to kill you. Uh... <laughs> Token 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 token. Oh. Wave. Uh, yeah. Are you, are you going in or are you staying out? Um, I'm going in. Sure. That's getting weird. All right. So, the foyer is uh has framed portraits adorning the walls. It features the the, well, the foyer itself features a wide staircase with a sculpted railing. A long carpeted hall attached to the foyer stretches almost the length of the mansion and has several doors leading away from it, including one at the far end. Bundles of twigs are heaped against the walls. And several people leave, you know, around you after having brought in their burden of twigs. <laughs> So the maid vanishes upstairs. So. What do you guys so, wish to do? Why do you think they're gathering twigs? Part of the festival, whatever that is. I'm not sure. But what would they be using them for? No idea. Burning things? How late is it? It is early in the day. Oh, okay. Not quite I was very time. worried about dinner. That we would be dinner, but apparently not. Okay. It's not even lunchtime yet. Ah. Do you guys just wait then? Yeah, just wait. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, polite thing to do. If I move a little over this way, do I hear any noises coming from down here? Uh, roll perception check. Nope, you don't hear anything. Uh, has right. it been an hour since our trip to the uh, trip to the coffin? It's probably Maker. been at least half an hour. I don't okay, know about I'll just hour. redo it. I'll just recreate my uh, Eldritch Cannon so that I can redo the temp HP. Okay. Uh, and temp HP doesn't stack, so I guess everyone gets one less temp HP. So that's my bad, but better that better eight temp HP for longer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after another couple of minutes, a couple of minutes of waiting, the uh, maid reappears coming down the stairs. Oh, all right. Uh, which of you represents this group? That's a good question. Um, <sighs> a quick vote. Who? <laughs> Layla puts a finger on her nose. Yeah. Okay. I vote. I vote Layla. No. 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 <laughs> Second. <laughs> Second. <laughs> Okay, fine. You don't want to be a uh, fine. I'll, I'll I'll do it. I mean, uh, unless unless Allery wants. Wouldn't Kale have the most experience though with this kind of thing? Kale. I don't know. She seems like a multi elf. 
person with like high class and stuff. I don't know about you, but I wasn't raised this way. I wouldn't either. And Kale, and Kale? Kale isn't even paying attention to you guys as he's entertaining himself with, with minor illusions. Kale, like I start snapping. Hey, Kale. He kind of looks over you and would uh, be like, what? Uh, do you want to take charge here? Not particularly, but you don't seem to be doing a very good job of talking, I guess. I mean, that's a given. That's, I mean, yeah, we grew up in the wilderness. Long. Yeah, I didn't, I, you know, I grew up without parents for a long time. This is basic stuff for like a childhood. I grew up as a drow. So you were raised by wolves? Uh, no. He's looking at Sarah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, maybe Alara was raised by wolf spiders, but... Uh, I mean, no. Not wolves. Anyway. Um, no, I just, you know, didn't have parents for a large amount of my life, but that's not, that's neither here nor there. The point is, I don't have good social skills, and... Kale would just kind of sigh and be like, my parents died when I was the equivalent of, of a teenager. Uh, I came out fine. <laughs> Indeed you did. So did I. So... But you know, I'm just not good at social. I'm like great at monster hunting, don't get me wrong. Like, that's my that's my thing, but... You know what, okay, we can sit around and argue about who's gonna take charge here. We all... He's just like, fine, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll talk, but... I don't... <laughs> He's like, I don't know. You you know how he tends to talk to people, so I don't know if it's like a good idea, but he'll try. <laughs> uh huh. You know we all represent each other. Does that work? <laughs> here, my friend here makes a good point. Is there a way that we can all go? The, the maid just kind of looking back and forth between them. Uh, w well, um, the, the burgomaster really only has room in, in his library, in, in his study to accommodate one of you comfortably. And he asked he me to bring to up the leader. It, I, you're going to be hard pressed to find someone to properly lead this group. I feel like we feed off each other. A real persuasion check. Well, over, all right then. Uh, follow me. And she leads you guys up the stairs. Oops, I'm on the wrong frame. That's why I can't grab you. And she brings you out down into the corridor. Up above. Uh, let's see. The staircase climbs 20 feet to a beautiful, a beautifully appointed gallery that continues towards the west, running almost the length of the mansion. Framed landscape paintings line the walls, and red silk drapes cover a 10-foot-tall arched window of leaded glass. And she will continue to lead you all on. Lyra, Lyra, you can't block my screen. I need to be able to see what I'm doing, sweetie. So she leads you this way. And let's hope it doesn't end up like the last time Quentin was here. Wait, we came here before? You died in this house before. At another, in, in another game, remember? 
Remember what happened? Yeah. No. Well, you en you ended up dead because of a fire. Oh, wait, that's this house? Yes, that's this house. Red walks in and ushers you the group of you in. Thankfully, you're made of water this time, so I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> and the party doesn't have the, uh, the, the weapons that they had last time. Or arsonists. The, the last party was a group of arsonists. They ended up burning this house down with the, when they were still in it, and I think two people died of the, with the party. <laughs> it was funny. I remember putting everybody to sleep. I don't remember burning the house down, but I think that, that was a different game. Yeah, that wasn't your party. That was the, part, the party when Quentin tried, last time Quentin played. <laughs> so that's room L. Okay. Floor to ceiling shelves line every wall of this windowless room, and the number of books contained here is nothing short of astounding. A brass oil lamp sits atop a large desk in the center of the room. The chair behind the desk is comfortably padded and has a symbol of a roaring bear stitched into the back cushion. Standing behind the chair, holding an open book, is a bear of a man. His breastplate, rapier, silk tunic, and greasy beard glisten in the lamplight. Resting on small rugs to his left and right are a pair of black mastiffs. They rise slightly as you enter and start sniffing, but mostly stay in place. Uh, something's come up. I have to be right back. Okay. Um, so you must be the Burgermeister. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Baron Vargas Val Valakovich. He, he greets. Uh, Leila Duskwalker. Um, I'll walk up and hold a hand out. He looks at your hand briefly, then uh, takes it in into a firm shake. Um, sorry to stop by on such short notice. We had an issue. Um, we had information regarding some vampires in the area. Yes, do tell. Uh, right. Um, down at the, uh, the coffin maker shop, uh, apparently there's several vampires housed in, uh, crates in the upper rooms. Hmm. They've been threatening. Um, ah, here we his go. name is Henrik. Ah, oh, this is quite a tragedy. Well, I will send my guard out to arrest him if he has been dealing with vampires. That is quite not a pleasant thing to be doing. Not in this day and age. Yeah, you might want to send some strong guards to take care of the vampires themselves. Yes. Well, it will be a great highlight to the f to the festival then. To know that the vampires have been defeated. I am back. Um, he looks like a potato. An <laughs> potato. His forehead it goes miles, man. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. I think they hides it with that one curl. I mean, uh, the library is pretty closed off. There's got to be a good bit of uh, inbreeding. <laughs> All right. So he he sends the maid out with the instructions um, to send the guards armed with uh, with stakes to the coffin makers and tell them to uh, arrest anybody on the present the, uh, on the premises and burn the place down. See, that is how you deal with it. We could have done that ourselves. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could have done that. We could have taken credit for that. Well, then you wouldn't have proof of vampires now, would you? So, assuming that there are, in fact, vampires, uh, I would very much like to award you with making you the guests of honor at the Festival of the Blazing Sun. That's a huge honor. We've heard quite a bit about this festival, all good things. Um, would you mind telling us more? 
Oh yes, it'll be your job to light the fires once we we complete the start. Once we kick off the ceremonies later this week. It is quite an honor. Hmm. And if you're very lucky, perhaps uh, you'll be allowed to execute a criminal or two. That often also raises spirits. Oh. Uh, that's... Um... Very kind of you. I don't know how we could ever accept that honor. I'm going to look to Sarah to say something. <laughs> yeah, I... I... It is so great, but I, you know, I just don't... Not really into the, you know, executing vibe right now. Well, all will be well, he, he, he declares. We'll see if the time, when the time comes. Yeah, um... Yeah, all will be well. He nods you in the, with approval for saying that. So, like, Vlaki's like a safe place, right? Like, super safe? Vlaki is very safe, yes. But apparently there are still some troublemakers inside the walls. Yeah. I mean, okay, well, here's the thing about Henrik. Um... He was, like, threatened by vampires? Does that still make him a criminal? Yes, it does. He should have come to, to me and let me know what was going on here. Now, if he is... Once he is caught, he will be put to death. We can't have ah. people like him t taking the admitted vampires into, in, into my town. You see, you're the Baron, and I would never question your judgment. Obviously, you know best. Um, but um, maybe he feared for his life at the moment, and he couldn't come to you all? Would he still be a criminal then, if he didn't have the chance? He has had plenty of chances. Oh, you know what? I have a way better idea than executing him. That will really make him pay for his crimes. It's super good. We can, look. we can have him, and like, we could just like have him under our hold, and I'll like experiment on him and stuff. He tilts his oh. head a bit. Experiment. Explain. Um. Well, he's been in contact with vampires, and I've been trying to learn about them. So, I just think it's a good idea to do some experiments on him, and it'll be it'll be very painful too. And then, like, I'll kill him myself. Sarah is lying through her teeth, by the way. I mean, uh, you wanted to honor us, Baron. Wouldn't this be a great way? Let our friend here experiment. This would be such an honor. Yeah, it'd be it. You know what? It even get me into the executing vibe. Oh, make your deception okay. roll. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna beat this even if I get a nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> he folds his arms. You could have just said you have no interest in executing him yourself. He's now giving you. A, 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 he's now like get the way his eyes are looking at you, Sarah. It doesn't look like he's going to trust a thing you, anything you say. Even if you are telling the truth. My apologies. Uh, I'm just going to hide behind Layla. <laughs> ducking cover. Ducking cover. Um, so spirits seem to be up in the town. Is this a festival you said? Is it every week? Ah, yes, we always have a different festival. It is to keep the spirits high and not let the darkness defeat us. Yeah, of course. It seems to be working very well. Do you hold executions every week? Only when it's warranted. Hmm. It just seems, you know, you would run out of criminals, but I guess, you know, terrible people 
Well, there, there are about. plenty of criminals. Most of them are in the, st- the stocks right now with, with their masks on. Oh, the stocks? Are they... Uh, th- where are those so that we can lay our eyes upon the types of criminals we may be executing? Uh, well, that is... Uh, let's see, hold on. I think it's in the town square. But let me double check. Yeah, it, it's in the town square. You've actually seen seen them. Uh, people in stocks and with donkey, uh, with donkey head headed masks over their faces and heads. Do you, oh, those right. of you who've been to the town square. Is that where you house all the criminals, or just the special ones? Oh, those are. That's where most of the criminals are. A rat. Although occasionally we have to take prisoners and interrogate them. Oh, of course. I can imagine that's hard work. Oh yes, but don't worry. It is worthwhile work to get everyone in line. Hmm. Well, uh, this has been nice. Um, (laughs) do you, I'm trying to look up our, uh, why don't I have them written down? The, uh, the readings we got, the card readings. You did write them down. I thought you did anyway. <laughs> I definitely did. I just can't find them. I wrote them down on a physical piece of paper. Roll intelligence check. Okay. Uh, I'm going to find the pa- part of my notes that has the card readings. And you remember that to, to find items that will help you, you found that you got the card for the Berserker. The philanthropist, the the philanthropist, and the wizard. Uh, the ally was the card of the beast, and the enemy was th- was unclear. Sorry, where to find the enemy was unclear. You ended up with cards that said rogue and charlatan, and the seer was not certain what was going on with that. But she told you. I think she probably would have told you to be careful if she if I didn't say that out loud at the time. The Berserker. Okay. Do you know where he might find a wizard's tower? Oh, a wizard's tower. Um, hmm, he thinks for a moment. Well, uh, there's talk that. Somewhere on the road to the west is an old tower. I believe it is a wizard's tower of some kind. No one really goes there. It's on, it's on a lake or a pond, perhaps. If, kind of waves his hand. It's nothing that I've been really worried about. All right. Uh, and as Monster Hunter, I feel like it's my duty to ask, are you having any monster issues? Uh, werewolves, particularly? Not lately, no. We slaughtered a bunch of wolves recently for the wolf festival. Any werewolves? If they were, they did not turn into humans in front of me. Okay, so they weren't werewolves. Um, Alright, well, that's all I needed. Uh, I guess just a question to put out there, is there any work you need done for the festival? Well, as I said, uh, if this information proves to be good information about the coffin maker, uh, 
if you could be the ones to light the fire, that would delight the people. And prove that all is well. We have new heroes in town who have already taken, t investigated and discovered a vampire problem and helped to eliminate it. Fair enough. Again, thank you for that potential honor. He nods. Um, I don't have anything else, and I'll look towards the group. Um, thank you so much for your time. What would the rest of you like to do? I got all the information I need. I, I mean, I would ask about the other card readings, but I don't, I don't know what to ask uh, regarding them. They don't really... They, they talk about a mad dog crypt. Oh, yeah, I could probably ask... Do you know anything about a mad dog crypt? Like a crypt for a mad dog? He shakes his head. It is not familiar to me. All right. And the other one's too unspecific. There's no way I could probably ask about that. It's the, uh... Look to a place where sickness and madness are bred. Do you say that out loud? I don't say that okay. out loud. That's a sad character. I'm just I, reading I, out... I, I was just double-checking on that. So that will be all, and he kind of like waves you off at this point. Yeah. Um. Well, at least we know what the wizard towers by a lake, I guess. Yeah, we also know that that old man's going to be executed. <laughs> Among others. Yeah, he's um he's crazy. Don't say that too loud, they might hear you. Let's get out of earshot. Oh I, Sarah would not say that with in <laughs> earshot. <laughs> you no, know, absolutely. Uh, as you start heading um out the you know, the stairs and all that, uh you spot this man um just coming coming along and he just kind of pauses for a moment to to get a look at you guys. Oh, hold on, I will give you a picture of him and describe him. Uh... He looks uh, pretty handsome there. Not oh really, yeah, that sexy hand. You know. <laughs> uh, so let, let me let me get the good description to actually say out loud. Um, uh, he like look. You know, pauses as he's making his way through the through the corridor and just stares at the group of you. Uh, and you see this uh, rather uh, large man uh, whose right arm appears to be very wrong. He just stares at you, blinking slowly. Very, no real expression on his face. Hello. And he just kind of like looks over each of you. And then he pushes past, past you. Uh, his um, bizarre hand uh, seeming to, to contain barbed spines as you look closely enough at it. And he heads to this room over to, to, into this room over here. Uh, hmm. A strange individual. Yes, very friendly. All right. Anything else you wish to do inside the Burgermaster's place? Mm, not me. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are. That's why I was asking. They say curiosity killed the cat, but cats have nine lives. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna risk going. Say Sarah, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna be fucking snooping around. Um. All right. What do you guys wish to do now? As you leave the uh, the burger Master's place behind. 
Uh, what leads do we have on anything? Nothing important that I know of. Um, Mage Tower to the west we just got, but... Mm. That's about it, yeah. We also have yeah. that thing um, with that poor woman's son, but I didn't want to ask anything about that while we were in there. Yeah. Uh, uh, there was that camp. Uh, I have it written down somewhere, but there was a camp outside of the village? Full of Vistani people, I think? Yeah. Oh, the... so, no. Was it Vistani or was it the, those elves? The those... elves from Tavernay? Both, oh yeah. It's to, um, it's to the south of the uh, 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 of the town. You could check that out if we wanted. There's also a um, lake to the north of the town. It'd be kind of interesting oh. to find out how closely related dusk elves are to drow, if they are at all. Oh, but if there was a lake up north, that could be related to the tower. Could be. Um. Oh. Quick question, is that task for now or task to move out of the city? Like, are we staying here for the festival? I don't know. Yeah, uh, I mean, is, is this place, honestly, run by that creepy guy? Don't know if it's a good place for Irina, to be honest. I don't no, think it, Irina should not, stay here. No, she shouldn't stay here. But I don't. We, if we I, want, we can move on to the less scary town, the next town. What was the name of it? Honestly, in this world, is any town less, any town less scary? Well, we won't know unless we check. Yeah, all right. Sure. I think we, we can move on to the next town. I mean, it's all up to you guys. I, I, I'm just going to keep riding the wind until I find a lead on some kind of monster. The vampires are being taken care of, so... Right now, I'm on the hunt for a werewolf. Should we go and look if they are taking care of the vampires properly? Like, killing them? Because that would be taking care of them properly. Yeah, I mean, just looking how they do it, just so like we have more information next time we happen up on the situation. You know what? That's actually a great idea. I would love to inspect on how a vampire dies. Do we think they headed there immediately then? I know he sent the maid out. I mean, I'm down. All right, let's go. I mean, maybe if we get there before, before we can let the old man know what's coming. Maybe. Uh, maybe get there in time to warn him and get him to run away. Is that what you're thinking? That's yeah. actually, that's way better. <laughs> we could probably save him. <laughs> maybe. Maybe if we're fast. Yeah, I mean, it's going to weigh on my conscience if, that, if this guy gets killed. All right, fast walk then. Uh, more like a light jog, I think. <laughs> light jog. So you make it back to the coffee maker's store, and you find that the front door is ajar, and the guards haven't arrived yet. Okay. If do. Let's take a look at the floor, see if we see footprints. Maybe he ran? Clues. Yeah. Let's look for clues. Investigation! You look around, but the floor does, does appear to be clean. Uh, there is a small tumbler on the um, on the workbench that he'd been sitting in front of when you guys left. Uh, it appears to have the dregs of something at the bottom. Should we call out? 
I'm going to call out. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hendrick? Are you home? No response. Do you think he went upstairs? I... Maybe? It's just oh, we God. didn't see footsteps. Uh... Let's... I hope I hope my my hope my my prank did not anger the vampires. Let's go. Let's go. I guess. Yeah. yeah Sarah's gonna cautiously move upstairs. Alright. You see the two doors both open, one leading into a kitchen and one leading into a huge storage area. Oh god. Oh, god. Um yeah. Sarah's uh intuition is going towards probably the storage area and she's gonna take a peek. It's as empty as you last left it. I'll look in the kitchen. It too is as empty as you last left it, although from a quick look just with your passive perception, you notice that a couple pieces of um of the hard cheese and you know, cold cuts and stale bread seems to be gone. Uh, look at his back. Uh, all right, towards the bedroom then. Look up into the be bedroom and the closet still hanging open, and the, those shirts that you saw hanging in there are gone. Okay, so maybe he took a run for it? Good. Okay, that's good. That's good news. That's good. The vampire shouldn't kill him, right? I mean, from what I saw, the crates were undisturbed, right? Correct. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks like the vampires haven't gone out. Is my, has my trap been triggered? No, it has not. It's still there. Yeah, so, either they got some really good eyes, or... Really, it just took. It would just take like a DC fourteen investigation check. But um, either they got really good eyes, or they're just sleeping. So good. Man got away. Let's get out of here before the guards get here and they realize he's not here. Vampire yep. spawn don't sleep, as far as I know. Maybe they're weaker during the daytime. Uh, in theory. It's, you know what? If I was undead and I didn't have to sleep, I'd still sleep. <laughs> Do we even know one of them is in here? Like, really know? Kale's well, familiar told you. Told us about the grave dirt. I'm gonna be honest, I'd rather just say, yeah, there are six vampires here and run than find out that there are six vampires. Just the assumption alone. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm comforting. You know, I like all my blood in my body. Yeah, they'll swamp us if they are there. Uh, let's go. So, where do you guys wish to head next? Good question. I guess we had uh, two to the wine, the bar guys told us about the wine not coming. Forgot about that. Oh, we did have that. The wine not coming? Yeah, the last shipment of wine from the winery is missing. Hmm. Where to next is a question. Well, the winery issue, it was said to be on the road to the west? Do I have that right? Yes, it, it, it's to the west. Uh, pretty much every, every, every one of your 
second next objectives appear to be in the west. Okay, so yeah, we should just head to the west then. Yeah, let's you take let's... Irina with us and go west. Yeah. Did we leave Irina at the inn? Yeah, she's currently at the inn still. All right, let's pick her up and uh, let's go. Anybody else got anything else to do here, or is that that's all? I say let's get the fuck out of here. You really don't need to see this festival, do we? I really don't want to. Unless, of course, you want to execute someone for fun. Yeah, I'd rather not. Yeah. So you guys go back to the inn, pick up your your arena, pick up your transport, and head out again. Yeah. All righty then. Six of you head out onto the road. The road again. Alrighty. Okay. So, after about an hour of traveling uh, on your oh, horse. You come to a road with an X intersection with branches to the northwest, southeast, southwest, and southeast. The lower half of a snapped wooden signpost thrusts upward at an angle near the eastern elbow of the intersection. The top half of the sign features arms pointing in four directions, but it lies in the weeds nearby. So now, how do we need that? Can we determine where to go? Any ideas which way to go? Other than back? Mm -hmm. Um, well... We're told that the tower is near water, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Is this terrain considered forest? Uh, I believe so, actually. Okay. Yes, is in there fact, any... this is very much forest. Cool, cool, cool. Is there any way I could try to track water? Like, find if there was... Well, you guys did just pass over a bridge. Yeah. So there's some back to the northeast. Mm. I believe in you, Layla. You can get us out of this. Well. I'm sure you're a good navigator. I mean... Right, but we don't exactly know what I'm navigating towards. Well, let's just go in one direction and see where we end up. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, do we have a preference? What direction west? Um, I'm going to flip a coin. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, directions left or right? Uh, northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest. Oh, there are a lot of different directions. My bad. It's an X crossing, so yeah. Yeah. Well, other than the way we came, um... which would be northeast. All right. So we have 
Well, if we wanted to head south, northwest or southwest. All right, I'm going to flip the coin this time. Heads is northwest, tails is southwest. Tails it is. Southwest it is. Let's go. Okay. Another hour goes by as you come to another junction in the road. The road has looped around a bit, so now you're looking at a road going northwest or a road going south. The woods are dark and foreboding, in spite of the fact that the sun is now pretty much overhead, except through the fog, the the you know ever-present overcast that this land seems to be in. Okay, I'm gonna hop out and look to the ground for tracks. Do I see heavy travel in either which way? Alright, roll investigation. Sure. Um, is this at advantage or do I double my proficiency? Let me see. Uh, you get advantage if it's your favorite terrain. This is woods, so I believe that's your favorite terrain. Yeah, can you roll for me? My computer is being ridiculous. Um, okay, I will check Sarah's character sheet and roll. Not Sarah's character sheet. Layla's character sheet. Blah. Uh, yeah. Layla, you, you look around at the ground and nothing. Oh, wait, that's an advantage. Duh. One more roll. Uh, Layla. Investigation. Oh! <laughs> at first you think it's nothing and then you just kind of like rub your eyes and you look again and realize that there's a lot of heavy traffic heading northwest of here and back down southeast. The way you came. The road to the south, however, seems to be little to no traffic. All right, I'll mm. point that out to the group. Um... I mean, so what's the move? Are we looking for a different town? Um... Yeah, we're looking for uh, the other town that they were talking about. Um, the last one. So, oh. yeah. In which case, yeah, maybe northwest? Yep, the place with the most traffic, it looks like. Yeah. You got this. We're doing just fine. We didn't almost get killed by vampires today. <laughs> After another hour, as to which you're pretty sure it's gone to noontime, Give me one second. Need to roll my dice. Bax, this is not a reason for you to come running at me. You're a lovely little guy, but I'm. But this isn't the time. Oops, wrong friggin' dice again. Alright, so roll that. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so as you um, reach the intersection, uh, Sarah, since you're the one most likely to recognize it, you notice a trap. A some kind of um, it's too small to be a bear trap, so maybe a wolf trap? It has steel jaws that are caked in rust. It looks like it was attempted to be carefully hidden under a layer of pine needles and detritus, but your clever eyes and knowledge of, tra of such traps uh, lets you spot it immediately. And you see this I even as you reach the next signpost and diversion of the road. A weathered signpost sits here as well. The three arms of the signpost along the three branches of the road 
uh, sorry, there are three br- lines on the sign front with blah, blah, blah. The arm pointing north reads Krizik. And through the woods, you can see an arching stone bridge spanning a river. The arm that points east reads Flacky. And the road slopes up gradually in that direction. The arm that points southwest reads The Wizard of Wines. And the road slopes gently downward in that direction. East is the direction oh. you came from. You actually joined up with a small, looks more like a foot road that was actually going off a bit north a little ways back. Mm. Okay, well, I see a some salvage, so I'm going to disarm that trap. Okay. Uh, let's see, that would be tinkering check. With dexterity. Okay. Actually, I actually don't have that on my sheet. Hold on. Oh, you don't have tinkering tools? I do. Uh, I do have them. I just don't have it on my sheet for whatever reason. Okay. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, you easily disarm the trap, and you now have a rusty wolf trap. All right. A wolf trap. Perfect for hunting werewolves. If you say so. Hey, Turtle Butter, refresh my memory. Wasn't the, the wolf trap what, uh, what Tobias at one point wanted to use to make metal teeth from? Yeah, he tried to put it in his mouth, and it didn't work very well. Because all his teeth fell out from something he did in the Amber Temple. Yep. Alright, well, we came from Velaki, right? And... Cressic's the next city over? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, we get to go. Yep, we can go to the wines later. Sure. There seems to be a lot of noise out there. The road branches north and climbs a rocky escarpment, ending at a gatehouse built into a 20-foot-high wall of stone reinforced with buttresses every 50 feet or so. The wall encloses a settlement on the side of a snow-dusted mountain spur. Beyond the wall, you see the tops of snow-covered pine and thin, white wisps of smoke. The somber toll of a bell comes from the stone abbey that clings to the mountainside high above the settlement. The steady chime is inviting, a welcoming change from the deathly silence and oppressive fog to which you have grown accustomed. It's hard to tell at this distance, but there seems to be a switchback road climbing the cliffs that lead from the walled settlement to the abbey. What would you guys like to do? Hmm. My cat is just racing up and down the corridor behind me. I guess we should try to enter the city or town. Yeah. Yeah. The air grows colder as you approach the walled settlement. 
Two square towers with peaked roofs flank a stone archway, into which is set a pair of twelve-foot-tall iron-bound wooden doors. Carved into the arch above the doors is the name Krizik. The walls that extend from the gatehouse are twenty feet high. Atop the parapet, you see four figures wearing fur hats and clutching spears. They watch you, seemingly very nervous. Hello, up there. Oi, who are you? My name is Elray. What are you? I'm an elf. There seems to be some discussion back behind behind there at that. Another one says, "There aren't no female elves." Not in Barovia. Well, that's yes, that's true. I'm not from Barovia. I'm from, I'm from far away. Another um, another round of discussions goes on. And another another guard pops her head over the uh, over the wall and says, "Oh, so um, what are you doing here?" We're looking for safety for this young lady here for us as well. They look down. Uh, are you seeking passage to to the uh, to the abbey? Is that place safe? They kind of are looking at each other. Well, the the abbot seems to keep it safe. It, that's not really a response. And one of them mumbles, saying, I don't like that place, but another one says, it's kind of, it's perfectly safe. The, the abbot makes sure that the, that, that those who, who are undergoing treatment there are kept away from the general population. That makes it safe. Treatment? What sort of treatment are you talking about? And they kind of, like, look at each other. The, the, the guards are all looking at each other. Hey, uh, I'm is, a. You don't know, do you? No. Another one says, "It's safe, though. It's perfectly safe." Uh huh. Uh. All right. Well, we should probably check it out. I guess. Can we enter? We drill inside and see if we if he thinks it's actually safe. Roll that insight. They're a bit too far away to really tell what they're really thinking. Nah. But after a minute, they kind of like open up the gates. Okay. Uh. You hear the sound of chickens cl clucking contentedly, and the occasional snort of a pig coming from various houses up and down the, the small lane as you enter into this uh, snow-dappled little little town. Uh, I actually have a map I can put you guys on. Yay. There we go. As you guys enter in through this area over here. Oh. The misshrouded village beyond the wall is nothing more than a scattering of humble of humble wood cottages along dirt roads that stretch between stands of snow dusted pine trees. So many trees, in fact, as it as to constitute a forest in and of itself. To the northeast, great cliffs rise sharply, and the road winding up to the abbey is easy to see from this village. <laughs> As the gates close behind you, a chicken just dashes across the across the road, and uh, disappears behind a couple a couple of houses. In comparison to other places, uh, other cities we've been to, uh, does this place like look less depressed, depressing, or does it look like more depressing? This place looks more hearty. Okay. It, it's definitely it doesn't look like it's got much of a you know um, affluence or anything like that to it. 
no clear divides, no clear, like, you know, inns or taverns. It looks more like, like, you know, everybody is pretty much the same here. <laughs> you see some, you see one person, like, walking a couple of, uh, walking two pigs along the road, and a couple more people, like, carrying chickens in their arms as they're walking about. They stop and or like look at you guys as as you pass. It's also quite chilly here. Kale, you you feel quite at you, you feel quite at home. This this this, this weather is perfect for you. Hmm. Huh. Uh, where should we head next, guys? No, there doesn't. There doesn't seem to be any, any functioning businesses, really, either. It just looks like people out farming, uh, fixing, fi bleh, fixing each other's, um, you know, places, uh, their own places, plus each other's places, that sort of thing. Looks nice. more like a community or commune rather than, you know, the standard shops and whatnot that you're used to. In that case... Should we head towards up to the Abbey? You know, vibe it out, see if there's any... See if it actually is a safe place? The vibes I got from the garden didn't sound very, very welcoming, so to speak. But we can go check, I suppose. It might be good to check it out regardless. Just completely scratch this place off the list if it's not. Yeah, you know what? Guards may be distrustful of it, but we can always uh, see for ourselves. Make an accurate judgment. I mean, these people didn't know that six vampires were hiding out in their own town, so. That's true, you do have a point. The abbey itself uh, is actually quite high above um, the roads here. Looks like it's. Let's see, how many feet is this above? Yeah, the winding the, the winding road climbs about four hundred feet above the rest of the rest of this village. Hello? I'm I'm here, I'm just waiting for you. Ah. I thought I th I thought my earphones went out. Um <laughs> ready to um to, to say goodnight to good night to this and just died uh side on that over the next two weeks. That could be easiest for, for some people. Yeah, I'm start starting to get a bit complicated on my end. Several things are happening at once. 
Uh, um, but I, I still can go for another 15 minutes if everyone's okay with that. Sure. Yeah. Oh, this village. Yeah, this village. I don't remember yeah, this whatever, village. Whatever that means. Remember, re re remember, uh, Wave, last time you were here, it was three years later. I don't know if that's positive or negative. It means that things were very different in your game. Yeah, that's true, but still. Oh, no. I, I think uh, when we came here in my party, uh, we were carrying a dude with no legs. Well, he had one leg. It, it, you cut off the other one. That's friendly. <laughs> it was one of those cases where Nat 20 was not actually in the party's favor. Mm. So yeah, it looks like this would be a good, a good idea just to adjourn for the next two weeks while you guys decide what you want to do next. So we'll just pick it up then. You guys can, can plot it out for the next two weeks. Okay. Yep. Alright. Alright. Great dope.